Hello handsome men and lovely ladies. So I just wanted to come on here really quick and go over something before we get started. So first things first, today we'll be doing a cleanse and clear ritual. So I'm going to show you how to fix a candle that will get rid of the negativity around you, whether it's from known or unknown sources. And I'll show you how to keep yourself purified and protected and cleansed. So that's the first thing we're going to get into. Now the second thing I want to make mention of is that everything in magic is dependent upon you so as long as you have clear intentions you have clear focus there's nothing you can't have whether you have a candle or not it all starts in your mind so if you can think it and you can hold on to it you can 1 million percent have it so now that we know the mind is super essential to any ritual you do, the next thing I want to talk about is alternatives in ritual work and with materials. So as I go along with the video, I'll try to give you guys different alternatives that you can use if indeed you don't have the things that I'm using. Now a lot of the things I am using come from my personal shop. I'll link that info below if you'd like to purchase it. But there are many other places you can find great things. Now the next thing I want to say is that when we're speaking about alternatives magic is different so even though we might share a similar practice we may not the way I do my ritual is subjective to me it's the way that I was taught and as you guys know I've been studying and practicing my whole life it's in my family so a lot of things I'm sharing with you they were shared with me and I'm passing them on so guys what we're doing here we're lighting the sage we're taking our candles and don't worry we'll go over the description of each but we're just going to go ahead and cleanse the candles now because we're removing energy there's really no certain way that you have to do this you can do it anyway you can take the sage and circle it around the candle I like to do that and I like to do the top so I'll take the sage and put it in the top then I'll put it in the bottom um, and then the same with these now I do these collectively and then you can do them individual. Depends where they were stored. Um, and it's really a preference as well. So I like to just go through them one on one. Now if there were like a hundred of them, I'd probably do it collectively. <laughs> but um, you guys get the point. Now I just wanted to show you how to sage your candles to cleanse them. Now the next thing I want to make mention of, and I mentioned it in my last video, but in case you didn't see it, um, there's some ash in here, but sand, and this is just regular colored sand from the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. Um, sand helps put out flames and fire, so I never liked putting my smudge stick, my sage out just like, like a cigarette or something or a blunt, whatever. I don't like how that treats my sage and I don't like relighting it. So what I found was that when you put it in sand and just go ahead and just move it around a little bit, it literally puts out the smoke. So where you may have wanted it to be lit, it's no longer lit. So, and it's an easy alternative, cheap way to keep yourself uh, free from, from flames and fire and practice fire safety. So that was just a little tidbit. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. So welcome guys, today we'll be doing a cleanse and clear um, ritual. So let's talk about the ingredients you'll need first. Now this is for newbies, this is for people who are experienced practitioners and you're looking for a new way to do a cleanse and clear, but let's go ahead and just get into what I'm using. So the first thing is we have a plain white glass candle. Now we will be putting our petition on this. Okay, so the next thing we have is four black chime candles. Nothing is inscribed yet. We have a sheet of wax paper just to keep the mess from getting too messy, even though spell work is messy. We have a black Sharpie pen to write our petition on the white candle. We have my brand Remove My Enemies Oil. Now, we're not going to use all these oils, but I did want to show that this is an option, okay? This is optional. You don't have to use this. The next thing, we will be using my protection oil. Now, say you don't want to purchase my oils. An oil alternative I would recommend is eucalyptus. Um, I would recommend coconut oil. I would recommend spirit 
um, excuse me, not spirit, but spearmint oil. And these are all essential oils, of course. Now, the next oil I want to make mention of is remove blockages. We will be doing this. Now, that's the whole point of this ritual. We want to get rid of the blockages, the stagnation, enemies, known or unknown. Um, and we want to keep ourselves purified. We want to keep ourselves cleansed. We want to be able to make sure that there's nothing on us so we don't interfere or block our blessings. Now, the next thing I want to make mention of is my uncrossing oil. I don't sell this right now. This is a personal oil, but I will be using this on this blend. Um, so here we go. Now, we have the next herb we'll be using is Angelica Root. Now, I really like Angelica Root because one, for women or people who identify as women, um, it really adds an extra strength and power to the ritual and it's just protective in general it's such a great protective herb the next one I can't talk oh my god all of these herbs are so intensely grateful but the next one is hydrandra and this is the root and the thing about this this removes hexes curses jinxes anything that was put on you it purges you of that it's like an exorcism in a way it's so great now, hyssop is, oh my gosh, a staple. It purifies, it protects, it removes. It is, if, if you can have any protective herb, I would highly recommend hyssop and agrimony, which is our next herb. It's a little thicker, um, but the protection that comes from all of these is so amazing. Now, I have some crushed red pepper here that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have some chili powder that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now the purpose of these, as I mentioned, were protection. The purpose of these are to return, return to cinder and remove anything that may have been put on you. The next thing I'm gonna be using um, is the Breaks All Incense by the Hem Brand. It's a little <laughs> jacked up, but uh, I use it a lot in different rituals and for clients. The one thing I do want to mention, and this is just a personal thing, this is not required. I like to use the incense when I'm not only doing the ritual, definitely during, but also to go over the candle after you sage it. And I already did that, so you won't see it, but that's what I use the incense for. It adds an extra power to the ritual and I love incense. I'll be doing a video to cover just that. Now, the next thing I have in this beautiful bottle is water. Um, now water is a conductor. So if you speak to water, if you enchant water, it will do as you say for it to do. So the next thing we'll be using is this little glass candle-like jar. Um, and I'll describe what this is for, but this is also from the Dollar Tree, a simple dollar, and it's great in spell work. I use it a lot. So the first thing we want to do when doing a cleansing clear is, first of all, we want to know our intention. So we grab the black candles because the white is to keep us purified. It, it's to keep our ourselves. Imagine this white represents you. It's to keep ourselves grounded, safe, protected, um, cleansed, cleared from any mischievous activities known or unknown, from people known and unknown, um, while at the same time removing any enemies, removing any blockages, removing any um, built up negative energy inside and removing anything that just needs to be removed. So the way we set up this candle, the way we use these candles are all very important. Now let's go ahead and start with the white candle. So we're gonna take our Sharpie. And what I like to do is, and I'm gonna do this ritual with you guys. This one's gonna be with me as well today, okay? So what I would recommend is you guys put in your name at the bottom of the candle. So let's go ahead and do that. And without me putting all my information, there's Whitney, right? And then go ahead and add your birthday. And you don't have to actually write it. You can just put the numbers. 
and it, it helps it make it yours. It helps it identify um, the person in which the work is being done. Now your intentions can simply do this, but the way that I like to make it more personal and more intense is to definitely inscribe your name or your client's name into the candle that you're using. Now, because we're doing somewhat of a double action in the sense that we're removing and we're also keeping ourselves cleansed and cleared, we, for this candle, want to write up. So from the bottom up is what we're going to write our petition because we want to bring purity, we want to bring healing, we want to bring protection, we want to bring um just this feeling of safety and security and cleansing over us. And with our black candles, we're gonna inscribe in them going down, okay? So let's start, let me give an example. So again, I always like to write um, my name on the candle. So, and then my birthday again going up as well. And I always, what I like to do is I like to say, Spirit, I thank you for X, Y, and Z. Whatever it is you want to um, petition for and what you want to set intention for. So I'll give you guys an example of a line or two and then I want you guys to really feel what's right for you. So I would write Divine Spirit. I'm so thankful for protection over my mind body and spirit I'm so thankful that everything I love is guarded protected defended and blessed so Guys, I write in cursive, <laughs> so don't mind me. But as you can see, I just wrote from the bottom up, and as you want to go into the next sentence, you just go back from the bottom right up, and so forth. And you can do this all the way around your candle until you get back to your name, or you can stop when your petition is stopped. Now, I also want to um, advise you guys that you can get super creative with this. So definitely feel free to do as I will. And if you want to add sigils, um, feel free to add sigils. If you want to, you know, place your picture beside the candle, that's a great idea as well. Um, if you would like to sit this particular candle and not the other ones, you'll see what I mean as we continue to go on. But if you would like to sit this on top of a mirror, that is also a great suggestion, which we actually may do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this petition and then I'm going to come back. But at the same time, I want you guys to really think about what you want, what you need, but just write it in terms as if it's already yours. So I'm so thankful for X, Y, and Z. I appreciate my X, Y, and Z, you know? Act like it's yours and you're bound to have it. Now I'm gonna write this and then I'll come right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. Now I've finished the petition. I've wrote all over my candle and I even did something like trying to draw a few sigils of pictures of what I wanted protected. <laughs> Not the best drawler, but as you guys can see, this is how I have inscribed on my candle again with my name and my birthday at the bottom. Now, the few things that I did forget to tell you guys when it comes to your products, make sure that you have something you can inscribe with. Um, I have my terribly embarrassing <laughs> knife that you guys know about from my last video. I also have some blue glitter. And the reason we want to use glitter is because glitter attracts spirits. So when I think of cleansing and clearing, um, you know, I personally think of blue for the cleanse, but I also would suggest a gold or a silver um, with that feminine energy, allowing spirit to do as it will and allowing the black to be masculine. You could also use red. It's really just a preference and it's not required, but for me, I really enjoy the visual appearance and the gratitude that my ancestors give me when I use glitter. And then I'm also showing you my tray right now. Um, I like to really use this tray a lot. I use it for a lot of spell work, but I'll be sitting the candles on this. So we'll get to that in a second. And lastly is this um, 
it's kind of like a barbecue stick, but basically we're going to use it to poke into the candle. So guys, again, we have wrote our petition on this. We'll cover every step along the way so you don't have to worry about just keeping up with things. I'll slow down and we'll go through it. Um, now we're going to take our black candles. And since we have four, the intention is that we're going to have our white candle in the middle and a black candle will be in each side representing the compass. So north, south, east, and west, the four watchtowers, right? So on our candle, as we inscribed up on our white one for the things that we want to protect, the things we want to keep safe, now we're going to take our black candle and inscribe down. Now I would recommend that on each candle there's a different petition or there's something different that you're removing. So let me give you an example. Um, and I would again recommend putting your name on it, but you can put your initials, you know, um, and your birthday as well since you already have that information on your white candle. It's personal preference. So for me, I'm going to put my initials and I'm going to start from the top down. And I'm going to put my initials and my birthday. Now, as I put that, that's just to help again, identify me that this is my energy, my intention, my candle. The next thing I'm going to do is write my intention. So again, similar to your white candle guys, do what feels right for you, but let's do a few together. So the one thing that I'm going to do with this one is, um, I am thankful that my known and unknown enemies, known and unknown enemies are being removed. And then you go on to your next. Let's do another one. Um, again, put your initials in each one and your birthday. This is a personal preference. You do not have to do this. As long as your intentions are there, this will happen. Now again, so we have remove known and un enemies, excuse me, known and unknown enemies from us um, and remove any sickness, disease, poverty, illness, that tries to come my way. So I am thankful that any sickness, disease, illness is blocked before it can come my way. Now, if you feel like you've actually been jinxed or hexed or cursed, this would be the perfect time to write in your candle. I am thankful that all hexes and curses and jinxes are being removed from my mind, body, and spirit. And then you can also do the next candle and say, I'm thankful that whoever sent ill intentions my way are receiving them back 10 times fold. I'm thankful that all curses, all jinxes, all in, um, all malintent is being removed from me and sent back to and sent back to the person who sent it to me. You know, you can get really creative with your petitions, but I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and then we'll be back for the rest. Okay, guys. So, I've inscribed on all four of my candles a different intention. Now, let's go ahead and get into the fixing of the white candle. So, we're going to take our wooden thing. This was found at the Dollar Tree. I feel like they should sponsor me at this point. <laughs> but um I believe on witching on a budget, and you guys shouldn't have to spend a ridiculous amount of money to get the products or the items you guys need. Now, ritual work is different because it it's work but um, your own personal products. You can use what I use or you don't have to. This is, I recommend this option because in, as far as putting holes into the candle because it really allows the oil to go ahead and penetrate and soak in it. So let's go ahead and um, because we're doing protection, I'm gonna go ahead and do four uh, holes as if representing the black candles. So just go ahead and you know, go as far down as you desire. So one on that side. So north, south, east, west. This doesn't really require any intention. It's just an action step. So again, that was used for this. You could also use to inscribe, but I don't like to do that. Now, again, it gets a little messy, guys, which is why we have our wax paper. 
but just any residue that's in there, go ahead and remove it. If you need to grab yourself a napkin, like I do, <laughs> I would suggest that. So we have that. Now, I like to um, then put my oil in. So as I was telling you guys, we're gonna do on crossing oil. I only use this in my ritual work for clients. I do not sell this at this time, but there are other options such as remove my enemies. As you guys can see, remove my enemies, beautiful oil. Um, remove blockages, which is what we will be using. Um, and protection, we also will be using this. So the first thing is we're gonna put in this on crossing oil. I like to shake it all up. And as you guys can see, I actually have blue glitter in here and my um, personal on crossing oil as well. So let's go ahead and, oh, smells so good. And guys, as I had mentioned before, if you don't have um, my oil, or if you don't wanna purchase my oil, which there are two options, there's half ounces and whole ounces available for an affordable price. But if you don't, I would recommend using peppermint, um, eucalyptus, coconut oil. Uh, that'll all help dragon's blood. That would be a good option as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go around this. So I'm gonna go in clockwise motion. And as I'm going in clockwise motion, I'm gonna say my intention. Like, I am so thankful that I am divinely protected and that all jinxes, hexes, curses, any ill will, any malintent is being removed from my life. Ashe, ashe. I'm so thankful that I'm divinely guarded and that my ancestors and guides stick by me and they remove any source of evil or harm that attempts to come my way. Okay, and we're just gonna keep doing that. And also, you know, the words that I'm saying, as always, are my own personal words. Go ahead and feel free to use your divine words and your intentions. So the oil we're gonna use on this candle is protection. So I wanna show you guys this amazing oil because if you were to purchase a one ounce, this is what it looks like. And it smells fab oh my gosh it smells fabulous um so now i want to shake up the protection i do like to just put it on the wick to start but because we do have those holes in there you can use a syringe or you can just pour a little bit in there as such and let it go down the holes okay so if you gotta kind of move it around in your candles so it all reaches the holes do that or you can take your barbecue stick and, and help aid the oil go to the right places if it works. Um, again, you can just try to move it around. That's what I like to do. But you wanna practice fire safety, guys. So less sometimes is more. Um, it depends on personal preference as always. So the rest that's left, and guys, it smells amazing. Go ahead and do it in clockwise motion the way that we did the uncrossing oil. So divine spirit, I'm so thankful for protection. I'm so thankful of divine coverage over everything that I love. Um, and I'm so thankful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to say my intentions in my head since this is a personal candle and I want you to do the same. Now, mind you guys, your intention is on the candle, so that is also your prayer in a sense. Um, so you should be reciting the same things. Guys, I really don't want to talk this up, but my oils smell amazing. This is absolutely fabulous. Wow. I don't use the same ones every day, so I was like, hmm. <laughs> now, I want to put some Angelica root in my candle, so I just want to take a little bit, put it in my hand, and go ahead and bless it. And you can say a prayer of it, Eric. Um, as always, make it your own. And I like to use few herbs because, again, less is more fire safety. So, Divine Spirit, Mother, Father, I'm so thankful that this angelica root is being enchanted and blessed with the intention to protect me, to protect my mind, my body, my spirit from all harm and all foul. I'm thankful that any enemies, known or unknown, nothing can stand against me that they may have sent my way. I'm thankful that any ill will or any intention is cast out and I am being cleansed. 
I am being cleared. And I'm thankful that this angelical root will provide aid in all of those areas. Ashe, ashe. So that's when you go ahead and you put it in clockwise motion the same way that we put the oil. Okay. Now we're not using tons of herbs here, guys. This isn't a lot of herbs, um, but that's how you like to do it. I like to do it like that. Plus, these are a little thick. I don't know if you're able to tell on camera, but they're a little thick. Now, the next thing I want to use is agrimony. Agrimony is great for protection, divine protection. Um, it's a it's a heavy hitter. So let's go ahead and pray over the agrimony. And again, whatever you want. So divine spirit, mother, father, I'm thankful that this agrimony is being enhanced and amplified for divine protection, divine coverage. I'm thankful that a orb of glowing white light surrounds me and my spirit in everything I love. I'm thankful that I'm impenetrable. I'm thankful that nothing can stand in front of me or against me. I'm thankful that I'm protected on all sides, the north, the south, the east, the west. I'm thankful that my ancestors, my guides love me, keep me divinely protected and grounded all days of my journey. Ashe, ashe. So that and we go ahead and put the agrimony around again in clockwise motion. So guys, that is the thing and the theme here, this clockwise motion, when we wanna bring something in and when we wanna remove, we go reversal, okay, counterclockwise. And we just try to keep the herbs as far away from the wick as possible. So again, we don't cause a fire, but I'm gonna show you guys a really cool trick at the end, okay? So we have our angelica herbs, angelica root. We have our agrimony. Now, hydrangea. Do you guys, have you guys ever seen the um, TV show? And it's dubbed in English, but Triple X Holic. They have a whole episode on hydrangea. And I think that's actually um, what the episode is called, but it's so worth seeing. And if you can see it, I recommend it. But hydrangea removes removes the hexes and curses that's been on you. So go ahead and pray over it. I'm gonna let you guys say your own this time. Ashe, ashe. So again, clockwise motion. All right. Now the last thing we got is our amazing hyssop. Now, divine, I love, I love a good hyssop, guys. Hyssop is so protective, so strong, all by itself. So, if you didn't have any of these other herbs, which are available for purchase on my website, but if you didn't have these, um, hyssop is the way to go. And if you didn't have hyssop, um, you could use again just the oils by themselves. But I always recommend adding herbs at all times if possible. So, divine spirit, mother, father, I bless and activate this kiss up to bring protection divine covering so forth and so on go ahead and say your own intentions as i finish mine okay ashe, ashe. so guys now we have all of our herbs in the candle i'm just looking at it to push it all away now you see we have that the next thing I want to do is add my glitter and this is an aesthetic option this is not necessary again but for me when I think of cleansing and clearing I think of either yellow or I think of blue but there are so many different options okay so we have that I'm gonna to try to move that piece out of the way so we have that as an option guys not that pretty now I'm going to show you what else you can do towards the end, but matter of fact, I'm going to show you right now. One second while I go grab my candle. Okay, beautiful friends, I am back. What I went to go grab was a plain white candle. Now as you see, she's burnt a little oddly, but um, there's reason for that. You see how the herbs are movable, they can be moved close to the wick, which could start a fire or it could cause the flame to burn incorrectly so it's hard to read the wax, etc. Um, it might cause the candle to burst because it's too hot. Whatever the case is, if you can take a plain white candle, go ahead and light it, okay? Light your plain white candle as such and go ahead and let the wax drip onto 
the herbs in the candle. And what this does is it puts a layer of protection over the um, herbs that are in there. So when this candle is actually lit, it won't be so flammable and the flame won't go so high because of the herbs, especially if you have a lot of herbs that move around or a lot of leafy herbs that aren't as thick as, as um, some of my herbs in here, like my angelica root, for example. Like say you have roses in a ritual, you're definitely, it would be ideal to put um, some wax over it so they don't catch fire because those little things are quite flammable as all herbs are. So as you guys can see, I'm just dropping the oil around the candle. This is completely optional. Now I will tell you guys just straight up, honestly, I don't do this every time I do a ritual. I just do not, um, especially depending if I can get all the herbs on the side. But I wanted to show you guys that this is an option to go ahead and keep the herbs around the candle down. And then if you don't like the aesthetics because of the white candle, that's when you go back over with your blue glitter because I love a pretty candle, guys. I love a pretty candle, okay? So once you got that, then you can shake your um, candle up and the herbs aren't gonna move around. They're not gonna come, well, they're not supposed to move around and they're not gonna come in your space. So you see that? That's what we do, that's how we do it. And because I'm like OCD, I need to cover that white spot. <laughs> but you see, there we go. Now the herbs won't cause a fire, there won't be a problem. Now, we're going to set these herbs aside because we wanted to use the protective herbs for the white candle since that's our, our cleanse and clear aspect. Now, this aspect is to remove the things that no longer serve us. So, this is when we're going to use our remove blockages oil. So, I'm going to go ahead and shake it up. Now, how you decide to put the oil on this candle, and mind you, I did not wash my hands in between the oil use. Depending on the oils you use, you may want to wash your hands. But with this one, I did not because I have protection oil on and that still serves the same purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and I like to just push the oil down for things that I'm removing. So if I was bringing something in, especially on chime candles, I would bring it to me. But because I'm removing, things from my life. I'm pushing the oil down. Okay. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. We're just going to do it. Okay. So remove and go ahead and get them real juicy. You guys know I love a juicy candle. Um, and if you want it to add glitter to these, you could as well. Again, it's all personal preference. Typically I would add red glitter to this, but I don't feel like going up and getting it. So <laughs> So um, we're here now and this is what we're using. And that's the beauty of magic. As long as the intention is good, you don't need all these things, but this is how I like to do this cleanse and clear. And there are so many other options, guys. So if you have questions, you let me know. Now, you can either wipe this in your hands, but I have an abnormally large amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this, um, this napkin, but it, it does smell good. Mmm, smells fresh. So let's go ahead and, and get into this. Now, because we're removing things from us, which you should have put your petition on, you should have wrote and inscribed in your candles, put your oil on, and now we're going to use this chili powder. Now, this chili powder is solely used for um, removing work, but still yet, as since it's in a container, I'm going to go ahead and pray as I pour over it, but I'm going to pour from the top of the wick down, okay? Again, to remove. So Divine Spirit, Mother, Father, I'm so thankful that you're removing any negativity, ill will, hexes, jinxes, curses. So that's what you guys are gonna say as you're going, you know? Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. If you end up going up, you go up, but the intention is there. Make sure you're saying the intention as you're pouring it. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure it's on there, which is why you really wanted to oil it up. No, <laughs> no um, <laughs> red pepper left behind. That's so funny. So now we're using our, uh, our chili peppers, our red peppers, and we're going to do the same thing. Now these may not stick, but 
hopefully some do and whatever is not left we can just put around it Let's see. so I'm thankful that any blockages anything that's in my way anything that's not for me and set against me is being removed and cast out right now spirit i'm thankful that nothing can stand against me nobody no ill intent no dis-ease no mal illness no um no envy no jealousy no competition etc etc and so once that's done now it's time to set up our our position of the candles okay so there's no particular way to set it up, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go set it up and then I'm going to come back and show you what I've put together, okay? So I felt like it was important to show you guys the steps since we've been thoroughly going through everything. I'm going to go ahead and take my wax paper, just pick up my candles and move them to the side. Then I'm going to take the tray that I was going to use for my candle and put it on here. Now... Um, I do want to say to you guys that the reason we wanted to use this cup and or this glass candle jar and this water was because first we want to pour some water into this container and then we're going to place our candle in it. Now, this is an optional step. This is not required, but this is blessed water. I bless this several times and I always like to charge it. So I just keep a glass of it and I'm almost out. So I have to make new moon water, but I like to take the water and just set intentions. Now water is a conductor. So as you're pouring it and as it lands and as it's in there, we're going to pray over it that it brings the desires that we're looking for. So just go ahead and, and pour some in. You don't need a lot. Um, you really don't need a lot. And I wish I got, I could turn this to the side to show you guys, but it would be a little um, wet. So I used only about this much water. There's really not much. And as you guys see the pictures towards the end, you'll understand. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the candle in there. Um, excuse me, before we put the candle in there, let's pray over the water. So Divine Spirit, Mother Water, I'm thankful that this water is a conductor and that it is bringing my desires of protection, my desires of cleansing, my desires of healing and rejuvenation into my life, etc., etc. So stay what you want, as always, and I'm going to finish my petition. Okay, ashe, ashe. So we're gonna go ahead and then place the candle in the water. And again, this is optional. So guys, after this is in the um, water, we're just gonna move this to the side really quick. Okay, so then you guys see these four dots and I love these little plates. Um, but you see these little four things at the end that keeps it off the table. I want to plant the candles there, okay? So, in my last video, I showed you guys that you're able to take a lighter and light the bottom of a candle to stick. So go ahead and take the lighter and we just wanna affix the candles to the bottom. And be generous if you really need to make sure it sticks because this is like fire safety right now. You gotta make sure it sticks, make sure you get everything you can and hold that sucker down until it doesn't move. Now, be mindful, guys. This is this plate's only so big, so you may have to have something under the plate to catch the wax if it decides to melt off. Um, it all depends on how your spell burns, but you would want to do that um, as an option just to keep things from being messy or to get all over your altar. Now, as you are sticking these candles to the... Um, to the plate or to the table or whatever it is you're using just you know keep your intentions in mind keep your desires on what you're manifesting in mind and there is no certain way that you should affix the candles to the plate you know some may argue well if you're doing a reversal or a protection or a cleansing spell you should go clockwise but i tell i tell you to do what you want do what feels right um 
everything is imperfect. There is no real book on how it's supposed to be done. It's done through intention and what you were taught and what feels right. So if this feels right to you, make this a practice, okay? But if you do have candle holders, you can use candle holders as well. Um, this does not have to be directly affixed to the plate. Now let's do our last one. I really hope that this um, this step-by-step -step helps you guys out, you know, and just be careful because you guys don't want to also burn all your herbs up as you're lighting it to the, to the plate. Now, if you get a weird feeling about a candle, move it, but it should be able to do this without coming off. If it can, you're good. Okay. Now in the event it doesn't go ahead and just relight it and re um, fix it to the bottom, but you should be good if you did it correctly. Okay. So once that's on, we have the four corners activated. We have the North, the South, the East, the West. That's when we're going to put our candle right in the middle. I want you to be very careful when you do this, okay? There, there's a little bit of space where when it burns down, it won't hit um, the glass or the candle, but that is how you do it. So you have protection on all sides that are removing the barriers that may be set against your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul. And then you have the cleansing agent right in the middle, which identifies as you and your needs and the things that you wanna keep sacred and safe in your life. Now, as I begin to light this, um, Remember, you want to have your break saw incense available. I would also recommend eucalyptus in, um, incense if you have that. I would recommend um, frankincense and mirth always as an offering to spirit. But yes, this is how you do it. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, let me know. If you guys would like a ritual done for you, feel free to head to my website and purchase your ritual. Or if you just want more videos and more updates, let me know. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Do what feels right. But I want to thank you for your time and your energy. I love you guys so much. Bye. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was easy to understand, especially for those who are newbies out here trying to get their feet started. Um, not their feet started, but their feet wet with different rituals and ideas. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's another ritual you'd like to see or to hear about. Um, if you have any topics you'd like me to talk about, go ahead and feel free to leave them or just leave me a heart, leave me a thumbs up, whatever you're feeling in your space. Spirit. The next thing I want to do is invite you to come to my shop and either book a reading with me or purchase one of my amazing items. And you can find that information all in the description. I love you guys so much. Happy manifesting.